Madam President, can you give us a sense of the Philippines, your region of the world today? Thank you, Maria. In the Philippines, as well as some other Southeast Asian countries, we're doing relatively well than the rest of the world. Not that we have not been affected, we have, but we're talking about relative resilience. And uh, the common denominator among those um, of us in our region and even in other regions who are relatively resilient is that we took the bitter pill of economic reform years ago. On the part of the Philippines years ago, we raised revenue in a very painful way and we spent the revenue by investing in long overdue physical and human infrastructure. But uh, by raising revenue and spending on those uh, very important items, we also work to, um, in, to achieve more balance in our economy, meaning uh, we uh, strengthened our domestic demand and therefore decreased our reliance on exports from 49% uh, in year 2000 to I believe it's 28.5% now. Uh, so that while our export sector was hit, uh, the hit on the total economy was relatively smaller. Also, uh, in our exports of goods and services, because we have a lot of overseas Filipino workers, we diversified our partners. We increased our trade with China and the Middle East, and uh, our workers are now in 140 countries all over the world. And I hope that we can increase our interaction also with Russia, especially in the field of tourism. So uh, these uh, measures of um, revenue reform, spending on infrastructure, increasing domestic demand, diversifying our trade, uh, have, uh, I believe, been among uh, the factors that uh, led to good macroeconomic numbers on the part of our country. In 2007, before the global crisis hit, we were, our GNP was growing at 8%. When two-thirds of the world went into a recession in 2007, in 2008, uh, it was 6.1% uh, GNP growth, and in the first quarter of this year, it's 4.4% GNP growth. And uh, we are happy about the tentative signs of recovery in the U.S. economy for in, that, that Professor Mundell uh, talked about. And uh, as far as China, which is a very big market for our part of the world, uh, as far as China is concerned, we see its uh, housing growth, its auto sales growth, its turnaround of the importation of, um, of minerals, a lot of which are from other from the countries around China, including the Philippines, we see this as good for the world economy, for our regional economy in any case. And the visit of the U.S. Treasury Secretary to China and the response that uh, seems to be reported uh, in the news about China's renewed confidence in the U.S. dollar instruments, I hope will also be another, uh, another good omen for a rebound of the world economy. And, um, well, uh, we have uh, the BRIC economies. China is one of the BRIC economies. Russia is another one. And Maria said that we have many invitations, but we chose to come here. I chose to come here because I want to express the best wishes of the Philippines for the internal reforms that Russia is doing now. Because we believe that these reforms of Russia will, and we have the best wishes, that they will not only help Russia stave off the worst effects of the crisis, but speed up the rebound of Russia and make Russia's potential come through in the 21st century of being one of the major drivers of growth in the world economy. Thank you.